Uh, my name is uh, Morina. Uh, my 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 full time job is kind of running the housing corporations. I, I do a, a little part time thing of teaching students at uh, Rise uh, on a part time basis. It takes me 13 weeks to deliver the course on the non profit sector. So my colleagues have challenged me to do that in five minutes. I'm going to try it. Yeah. If, it, if it's not good, don't pay me. <laughs> so, uh, we wanted to just do a quick synopsis of what everybody in this room probably knows, and that is the power of the nonprofit sector, which is both evident in the numbers of people out here and, the, and, and the, some of the other highlights that I'm going to show. So, the first slide there speaks about the power of the nonprofit sector. It is institutional power that stems from people organizing themselves in order to serve communities. To speak more directly or more specifically, the nonprofit sector is made up of organizations that have very specific missions. But all those missions, all the different types of mission statements and mission and goals are geared towards helping people and draw the, the, the power of people or communities in, in two organizations to do that. They are organizations which hold assets in common. And some of those assets are both physical, but they are also intangible in various ways. Some of the assets that uh, uh, we talk about in the nonprofit sector is collectively there's almost 55,000 nonprofits uh, serving all kinds of uh, uh, needs and causes. Um, that shapes up to about one nonprofit for almost everyone, actually not almost everyone, but it is actually close to one nonprofit for every 300 people in the province of Ontario. So that, that is uh, significant. The other huge asset that the nonprofit sector has is the power of its volunteer pool. In Ontario, that amounts to five million volunteers that work in organizations and provide energy, expertise, and membership and lasting legacy of, of the work of the nonprofit sector. The number of volunteers in Ontario, if you want to compare, is equivalent to the population of the five largest municipalities combined. So Moving along, so the nonprofit sector is not a marginal contributor to the economy. It's about people, but it's also a, a, a really big contributor to the economy. If you just take the core nonprofit, which excludes hospitals and universities, it contributes close to thirty-five billion dollars worth of GDP uh, in, in, in billion dollars. That is greater. Uh, that is greater than the auto sector and the food service sector. It also employs in the process close to one million people in the province. It is, by the latest statistics, the fastest growing part of the economy when you put all those different components combined. It is, in a way, uh, a very, very, very enlightening thing to hear because it does mark the renaissance of people who are driving the economy with a lens of passion uh, in order to achieve uh, a, a balanced outcome for people. It's quite different from the benefits that people accrue privately through derivatives and all kinds of other things I don't really understand. The nonprofit sector is, of course, moving along about serving communities. It is diverse in what it does, and this room probably reflects that diversity. It serves needs, it serves interests that community has, including children's programs, soccer. It also is a key uh, shaper of policy through uh, advocacy and all kinds of other behavior change uh, 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 aspects that we need to take responsibility for as society. And one of the most obvious examples, of course, is Mothers Against 
drunk driving and its impact in changing our behavior and relationship to something that, you know, 10, 15 years ago was something that people didn't, people did, but didn't realize the negative consequences. <laughs> finally, uh, finally, the non-profit sector is about people coming together to serve their community. It is people holding hands to create the strength and balance. Those of you who have uh, tried yoga, if you can see that pause, if you try and do that for yourself, where would you fall? Now I know that the next time I go to my yoga class, I'll bring someone else from the nonprofit sector <laughs> so that we can do that double pose that I see on the screen there. Thank you very much, and I hope for the